Hello, today I will walk you through the setup of your mobile weather with a universal CAN controller 2 using your John Deere Generation 4 display. We will start by clicking on the Isobus VT and then the menu button and then we'll scroll down to our universal CAN controller. Once selected, let's start by clicking on the activation tab on the top of the screen. In this page, this will show you your current activation setup with your universal CAN controller. Under the diagnostics tab, we can see the current versions of our hardware and software. Back in the profile tab, let's go ahead and select where it says profile MW just to make sure we were on the profile of our mobile weather. Now let's click the edit button next to it where we can edit the name of our profile. This page will allow us to select the feature which we will need in order to complete the task in this profile. The next page will allow us to do things such as set up an alarm for the mast in folding positions while applying and the mast up while transporting. On the next page we can set up more alarms such as the wind speed alarm and the wind direction alarm in which we will get a notification if the wind speed is too high or too low for our application. The next page will allow us to set more alarms for our high temperatures and our low temperatures during application as well as the delta T range. If we ever get confused during the setup, we can click on the question mark at the top right of the screen where we will get an explanation of some of the icons and tools that are used throughout the setup process. The next page will allow us to adjust our alarm preferences and once we're satisfied we will click next and now we have successfully created our mobile weather profile. Now let's click on the mobile weather button on the right side of the screen. Here we can see our current readings such as temperature and wind direction. In the setup tab we can see a full list of the alarms that we just created while we were making our mobile weather profile. The diagnostics tab will give us a full list of the activation levels of the components that go into mobile weather. Thank you for watching this video on mobile weather.